It seems like every day we see another robot that is capable of doing superhuman things, artificial intelligence, jumping over walls, climbing things. What if we could find a robot that was capable of doing small, gentle human tasks, lifting a bottle, playing the piano? Well, to talk about the future of robotics, I have Nelson Chang, the Deputy Division Director of the Robotics Division at ITRI, and he's here to tell me all about the dual arm robot system. Now, Nelson, you have the DARS, the dual arm robot system behind you. Tell me, what was the idea of this robot? Why did you develop this robot? Okay, uh, the dual arm robot was developed as a concept prototype. And in contrast to traditional uh, industrial robots, it consists of two seven axis robotic arms. So you have extra degrees of freedom in the arm compared to traditional industrial robots. And in addition, we also designed the human-like robotic hand at each robot arm. So these hands actually function very similar to what human hands can do. It has five fingers, like what we have. So basically it can adapt to different objects or different tools because human hands have multiple fingers. So given all the extra degrees of freedom, all the extra fingers, the dual arm robot can actually perform more tasks than traditional industrial robots. And, and you mentioned the hands there, you know, we can see the little, the fingers moving on the ends of, of the robotic arms. How, yes. I, I think of a, a regular robot as something that might lift a box or do a repetitive movement, as you say, working with tools. What kinds of objects can this robot hold? Does it work like a, a regular human hand? Well, uh, the, this robotic hands is quite different from traditional industrial robots. Traditional industrial robots actually use application specific grippers which are often two fingers or three fingers. Uh, and instead for darts, you have five fingers. So it can grasp most of the daily objects. For instance, it can grasp like regular bottles of different sh shapes or uh, writing utensils, or even some small electronic components with, with the same hand. We don't have to switch to different application specific grippers. So that's the benefit of having what we call a more universal robot object interface, which is the human-like robotic hand. So that's the benefit of having this design. And tell me, we've obviously got very fluid movements of the robot behind you, but tell me about the kind of, I guess, the intelligence of the robot, what it's capable of doing. And, and do you have plans to sort of develop that further beyond just the physical hardware, what it's capable of lifting and holding? Do you perceive mm -hmm. that it could be a, an autonomous robot in the future, for example? Yes. Okay, currently this is still an early stage of the concept demo. So we have to be honest that currently we haven't incorporated too much of the AI or um, sensing capabilities into this platform. However, if you look at the head, there are actually uh, vision sensors attached to it. And here at Ishi, we also have our own um, tactile sensing technologies. So in the years to come, especially this year, we'll be putting those sensors into use and we will also incorporate, incorporate uh, internally other uh, research group within e tree to put all our sensing uh, processing or sensing recognition technologies onto this platform. So one thing we definitely will do is we definitely will be putting vision into it. So maybe we can expect in the future that uh, DARF will be able to pick up things by, their, by the vision. So it can adapt to different positions. And in the future, we also look forward to work with external partners. So we'll be working with universities in Taiwan and also abroad to put uh, more advanced uh, AI technologies onto this platform. So we do have plans to actually make it, make it more smarter than it used to be. And, and you mentioned that this is a prototype, it's early development, and you've got a lot of ideas for the future of what you could use the dual arm robot for. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine in an ideal world, maybe in a couple of years time, where would you really love to see the dual arm robot? What applications would you really love to see? Okay, uh, that we can actually put that in um, two ways. The first way is uh, there are definitely some tasks involved, uh, human risking their lives, for instance, uh, the high risk uh, occupations. So for those applications, we definitely believe uh, robots will be very useful for that, those scenarios. Uh, that can include, for instance, um, let's say, um, for example, people are making COVID-19 vaccines or they are doing some inspection in a biohazard environment. Robots can do that. 
Also for traditional industry, you can work in high temperature environment or high voltage environment or environment with chemical substances. So that's, that's definitely the, the field that we would like to robots to go in. And DARS should be very well suited for those tasks, especially for a task that still require human hands. And the other, the other way we are expecting, expecting is the regular applications. For instance, um, I believe everyone has seen robots working in kitchen. So robotic chef is one example of regular applications, which is uh, not only interesting, also very useful especially when it's hard to find good labors these days. Mm -hmm. Itri is obviously at the forefront of robotics technology. Where mm -hmm. do you see the future of robotics in 10, 20, maybe even 50 years? How do you think they'll be incorporated in our everyday lives? Okay. Um, well, I would like to say, put it this way. Even for today, there are something similar to robots in everyday home. In, in everyone's home, for instance, you got those uh, washing washing machines, uh, laundry machines, and also there are there are cleaners in almost every house currently. So there are already what we call automated machines in everyone's house. And in the near future, we'll be putting a lot of intelligence onto it, so to make it more adaptable to how uh, human use them, we can actually uh, view that as uh, one kind of robots. And from the other front is a uh, robot with uh, similar capabilities to humans, for instance, robot with arms, etc. It will come to the, I believe in the industrial field first, it will first be using the business part and later we'll gradually, gradually uh, move into our daily lives as the cost become, becomes lower. So that's what we have in mind for now. But I, I'm actually quite optimistic in the future that maybe within the ne next decade, robots will definitely be really close to our daily lives. That's something that, that we believe in. Well, we've talked about all the amazing things that this robot can do in terms of industrial applications, but can't help but notice you've got a keyboard there in front of the robot. Can we get a bit of a music demo maybe? Well, I never thought I would see a robot playing me the piano, but I guess the future is pretty exciting. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned to CNET for all of your fantastic future technology needs.